and it will video video now on the laptop and we'll get the video going on the desktop is the start Stop now. Log in. Participant one. Invite. Email.
stop and also the laptop recording now and it's just me on the zoom is waiting for Witherby's head of the private banks in uh, Scotland, Scotland um, in both um, Edinburgh and London to see if they'll come on there, the directors of the Scotland Bank, Witherby's private bank and see if they answer to our um, website for the Zoom hearing or the Zoom meeting to see if they'll talk to me. Now I'll ring them up also on the phone. I'll ring, first of all, I'll ring London and ask Stephen Cannons. I'll just wait for a minute to see if one of them will join us on the Zoom hearing. It's only just me. participant just put it there and see if they're going to answer their email on Zoom so nobody's coming on yet I'll call on the phone in a minute. I'm getting tired. I want to get through to the Scottish Bank in London. Stephen Cannons um, and also um, whoever else there is there.
London first. Hello, is that the, the uh, Witherby's um, private bank in Scotland? Yep. That's yep. Edinburgh. Can I speak to Duncan Court, Court Blake? Or someone he's there? He's in a meeting uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, or anybody that I can uh, leave a message. I'm John, one hour from, director from a company in New Zealand. And I'm hoping that I can speak to someone there with um, some interest in our um, company here in New Zealand to your company in Scotland with uh, a claim that I want to work in with you there. Um, as long as I can get a hold of somebody there, I'm here with a project that's in the tidal turbine energy business in Scotland and also here ready to go in New Zealand as well uh, with a um, um, Danish company or Denmark company over there in Britain uh, and Koei yeah. engineers to work in with our project and my um, um, company here and uh, try and get something going but I can always get onto your website I left a, um, a Zoom meeting linked there because I'm on 
Zoom meeting if they wanted a live meeting with me with your directors of the energy projects in your bank in my bank here in New Zealand to see if we can talk about a trade um, partnership here and you are our um, British Crown partners in Scotland and the whole story is on my website and I've filled out application to join your bank there as well and to um, try and get some meaningful discussion going uh, with me. I'm the president of the Confederation of United Tribes in New Zealand and we've got a 201 year lease with Scotland and the Freemasons there and uh, a value of 17 trillion US dollars that's what I'm holding on to now as an equity of a contract that uh, is with uh, uh, your uh, native uh, magistrate court there in 1823. So I've got all that on my website and uh, full disclosure of everything tying us to you and the Crown of Britain there. And uh, I'm very much... Uh, um, the uh, design engineer of the biggest tidal turbine project in the world to work in with you and the Scottish experts on power generation hydrogen economy. So that's where I'm at and uh, I'm an engineer here as well and I needed to talk to your CEO of the energy department of the bank. It is a bank um, contract deal uh, between New Zealand and Scotland, our partnership with um, this trade and banking um, uh, project. Okay, did you get a little bit of that, what I'm saying? And I'll, I'll leave it there or wait for someone to contact me. What's your name? Hello? Yes. Hello. Hello. Can, can you can you hear me? It's John One Hour here from New Zealand. I just rang a minute ago, and my phone call got cut off. And uh, I just wanted to speak to um, 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 CEO of the bank and uh, Duncan um, Courtley, Courtley, or someone there that um, I'm, uh, I'm got an interest in your Scottish bank with our company here in New Zealand. Who am I speaking to? My name's Caroline Brooks. I'm based in the Edinburgh office. Oh, yes. Um, I caught your first name as uh, John. What's your surname, please? Uh, Wanoa, W-A-N-O-A. And I'm yes. the director of a company in the, the Tidal Turbine Energy Projects here in New Zealand. And I've done some work with engineers with the Scottish uh, Tidal Turbine uh, Hydrogen Economy. And I've got a company okay. in um, Denmark, Skui Engineers, 
that I want to work in with right. you and your bank and um, get right. some meaningful discussion going with the CEO of um, your bank and uh, our um, contract here in New Zealand with a 201 year lease that's gone through the okay. Native Magistrate Court in Scotland, in Edinburgh, and I want to put that okay. business together with your bank and um, um, get something going okay. with 70 trillion okay. um, um, equity funding. Okay, Mr. Okay, okay, Mr. Wernayer, we, we tend to bank private individuals yes. and small companies. Yes. Um, we do take on board international clients. Yes. What I can do is take a note of your number and ask um, Duncan to give you a call back. That would be nice. See, see if we can help. Yes. Um, obviously, it, 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 what we tend to do, it, we'll see if we can work for you and obviously to see if you're a right fit for us as well. Yes. Um, I mean, do you know... Do you know a little bit about Weatherby's its history and what we do, Mr. Well, Warner? Yes, I've had a look. I've been involved with banks and um, with um, my trade, and I'm 75 years old now. I've done a lot of research right. in banks. We have uh, an affiliation with the Bank of England and the Crown. I do a lot of Crown work uh, with the British Crown and us, our partnership with the British, yourself, Scottish, and us in my Scottish family, connections with our uh, trade and our flag from King George the Fourth, and our contract with you, a lease contract on our right. native lands. That's a model for okay. all native countries in the world, and I only think that it's uh, fitting for the Scottish Bank and our magistrate court there contract with the British Crown to join up right. and um, give us our website is there with everything fully disclosed um, with you people there and I know the British Crown back to front I know everything, I'm a okay. monarch myself in uh, um, the um, Crown um, uh, connection with um, Queen Victoria and the Moai statue on East Island and New Zealand, Dutch country here, with Denmark and their COWI, C-O-W-I, um, energy projects in the sea. And Scotland is a master of tidal tur turbine energy and the hydrogen economy. That's my trade. I'm in that trade okay. with the banks. Okay, so can I just take a note of your number? I will get um, them to give you a call back, Mr. Wanaya. Yes. Um, just in terms of your contact telephone number, can I just double check that I've got it down correctly? Yes. So um, it's um, 00642107825223. Correct. That's correct. Okay. And, and can I ask how you heard of Weatherby's? I looked up, I do a lot of research and to banks, okay, the JP Bank, Morgan Banks, and all of that, and, and um, every other bank, the Bank of England, and um, our connections with the British Crown, and um, America okay. at the same time, tied up with our, we're the only ones in the world that's got a king's flag of admiralty, and that's my trade as well. Right. Mortgage broking, bank okay. broking, here in New Zealand, over the years, and I can talk, bank, talk and boardroom talk and uh, very well fit into a boardroom with CEOs. Okay, Mr. Winner, I, as I say, I'll, I'll take a note of what we, we, we've discussed here and yes. I'll ask Duncan to give you a call. Thank you um, very much. Obviously, you, you, okay, that's fine, Mr. Winner. Thank it's, you. It's, it's um, um, 10 o'clock at night here and uh, it's 9 o'clock. Right. After nine o'clock, your business hours there. That's why I'm ringing at this time because yes. I know the time difference. And I'll wait for Duncan yes. to give me a call. And uh, I've also okay. left you with our um, Zoom uh, connection if we want, if he wants to come right. on there and talk face to face on okay. Zoom. It's on your email right. as well, and you'll see I've right. left our website for you to have a look at as well and you'll see 
the connection straight away with you there in Scotland. My family is the judges from Scotland, the Rogan judges in the courts. I'm a court judge as well. Just to go okay. with the bank. Okay, Mr. Wanae, I'll, I'll, I'll pass the message on to you, Duncan, and I'll ask him to give you a call. Thank you um, very much. I'm not sure about his capacity this morning, but I'll ask him to I'll schedule a call with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
from where the courthouse was, the native magistrate court. That started off the commercial contracts with um, Judge John Rogan and uh, uh, James Reddy Clendon that went to the east coast on our land blocks at Tiki Tiki Church and the Rangitukia Primary School, which was the magistrate court of birth certificates in 1830 in the early years of the British Crown starting up the government bonds there on our land and our Bishop Carr and uh, Reverend Wanoa, the two church uh, of England, St Mary's Church, um, um, uh, Bishop and Reverend um, of the Church of England and also the St Patrick Church of Northern Ireland and our eight point star flag with the St Patrick's eight point star on it in four corners of the planet Earth and our title to free passage through the world of trade and commercial contracts, Corporations Act 1835 King William IV and the Municipal Corporations Act of King William III of Orange and his 1689 um, Constitution Act of 10 years in Westminster Parliament and his uh, Bill of Rights Act 16. 89 and his War Powers Act 1689 and um, his um, um, Battle of the Boeing uh, title to have taken out say, King James and the Catholics off Westminster Parliament and put himself the Protestant and Dutchman founder of New Zealand, Dutch country and uh, Easter Island Rapa Nui as Dutch founded Moai statue memorial to the Freemasons land transfer native title from Paramount Chief and our family, the Wanoa Royal Tahitian family, to the British Crown and King William III of Orange, 1694 Bank of England Act, and the King William III of Orange, 1694 Two Bar. Patented Patterson Pound Note that I'm using as cash and also as digital currency and also as Maui chip coin and Maui Pound Note and the King, the Maui Crown King William III Trust creditor, bank creditor and mortgage broker and uh, liquidator and um, um, Royal assignee, um, um, debt collector of the Crown Corporations of all Queen Victoria Crown Corporation fraudsters in the one bar Rothschild pound note that became the fake US dollar that nothing to hold it up in value and now the crypto um, um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency that's got fiat money laundering Phoenix activity going on in the US federal government debtors that we have in our native magistrate King Benz court on trial and the greenback 970 million trillion trillion pound note debt instrument on all corporations in the world under Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth now under Charlie and Camilla and also um, Prince William as destined to become king of their monarchs and we've got King Ernest Augustus V, the reigning monarch of Britain, UK, Hanover and his ancestors, um, brothers, the three brothers, King William IV, King George IV and King Ernest Augustus I, those are his ancestors to his claim that we appointed King Ernest Augustus V. He's alive and 81 years old about and he's our monarch on Westminster Parliament and Buckingham Palace on our legal inheritance documents of transfer
from native court chiefs to the British Crown and uh, um, King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch and our business partner, Ship. And uh, we are the first party of a two-party contract between New Zealand, Dutch country, founded, and also with um, um, King uh, William III of Orange, founding of uh, Britain and um, London and also Scotland, England, Wales, uh, Corporations Act and uh, Municipal Corporations Act of King William IV, um, um, 1835, Municipal Corporations Act to pick up the lease land rent of 201 years here in New Zealand and that um, any Mitchell the director of the Mitchell Family Trust has stolen 17 trillion US dollars of our company and me, the um, um, successor to the Monacal Family Trust and also Rogan Family Trust to Scotland um, and uh, Rogan's married into the Wainor family, or IT Wainor at the East Cape, and St Mary's Church there, and our title to the birth certificates of um, the Crown Corporation in Westminster Parliament, direct um, connection, and we're the first party in a two-party contract, and England, soil, sovereign land, is the second party on their sovereign country England, okay, and then we've got Scotland, that's part of the British Crown, and the um, um, this the dynasty of the Rothschild banks that are now um, defaulted contract debtors, and we are the default contract creditors to liquidate and foreclose and bankrupt the Bank of England, Rothschilds, and all corporations in the world under Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, Charles and Camilla, and Prince Philip, and um, um, Prince um, Charles um, the Fifth um, monarch reign that's corrupted in fraud, fraud and um, um, defaulted on our contract and ran away and sold uh, England, soil sovereign land, to the Muslims in the Magistrate Court. We are wanting them gone, and we've got Paul, um, Paul um, there um, in the Parliament, in the uh, Britain First Parliament, and um, he's our partner there. Uh, Paul, what I've forgotten his surname now, and he's our um, legal partner, and he's running as the president and um, of the British um, First um, Party in Westminster Parliament, and um, we're going along with him as well. So that's Paul, and um, I forgot what his surname is, but he's our partner there, in as a second party to a two-party contract between us and Scotland and the Freemasons' office in Edinburgh. Uh, magistrate uh, court, uh, and we are joining up with the uh, Witherby um, Scottish Bank, private bank in Edinburgh, and um, um, its CEO, Duncan Courtlay, and Hayley Robinson, private bankers there, and us, a trading partner here uh, in New Zealand, to go after Eddie Mitchell in the Freemasons contract with us and me. That's my contract with my brain to put it all together and uh, Eddie Mitchell from the Mitchell Family Trust and a Freemason and a barrister stole the money and I want it back in our bank with the Weatherby Scottish Bank as soon as tomorrow or today. Okay, so there, we'll leave it here and I'll turn videos off on the laptop on today, Friday, the 22nd of November 2024, and I'm going to go to sleep and have a good rest and wait for Duncan um, 
junket and caught, uh, caught Lady Ringney and uh, get something going between us and his Scottish bank. It looks good. His bank has been around for a long time and uh, very solid enough for us on our contract with the Scottish um, Magistrate Court and um, in, in, in Edinburgh <coughs> that I want to join us with them and go after that money in Scotland that belongs to us. And it has put 303 shell companies, the shelf companies, out of nowhere into the Australia company's house and it's money laundering and uh, Phoenix activity, money that didn't belong to him that he spent on real estate. I want it back and all his real estate in New Zealand and also Bailey's real estate for selling Cook Street property and I'm in the real estate industry as a salesman, agent and also a bank broker in the uh, BNZ Bank and ANZ Bank with all these history of banking and brokering and also real estate and uh, um, trade in the hydrogen economy with Scotland, the biggest um, people uh, in turbine in the sea projects of hydrogen economy. Okay, I want to get into that and spend a lot of money there and real estate as well as our own Moai Powerhouse Bank and our two bar pound note that I want to sell to the Scottish Bank for 3% and they can mark up to 5% and make a profit but that's our money in our Moai Powerhouse Bank in London to take out the Bank of England and bankrupt them for fraud and corruption of our legal system of King William III of Orange, money-making venture and also lawmaker, original court of record in the High Court of Admiralty, court martial law and the means of making mortgages, lands and bank loans to raise money by using memorials and uh, documents of Freemasons over the years of corporations that we have the flag of corporations, the only corporate flag in the world, given by a king, William IV, and also the legal authority and jurisdiction of King William III, of Orange, Battle of the Boyne, and St. Patrick's Church, Eight Point Star, to pick up the lease on 257 native countries in the world that use our native land titles to transfer the land into the British Crown ownership of lease lands and bank loans and that's me, the President of our Confederation of the United Tribes of Altair New Zealand, Pacific Islands and Tahiti, the Maui Statute and um, the trusts, creditors, bank creditors and liquidators, foreclosures and bankruptcy, debt recovery business and the Bank of Scotland that's with us in the contract of con commercial and lands and um, um, Ischiat claims to the history, traditional history of the British Crown and the monarchs, the kings, emperors, Dutchmen, Protestant church, that's our church and our Church of England, origins of monarchs and means of transferring land from native chiefs of their indigenous surname countries into crown lease land ownership, bits of paper and instruments of kings, emperors and back to 1066, King William I, William the Conqueror and his connection to today's commercial world and corporations. We are the kings of corporations and I'm the successor to the British Crown as the first party with King William the Fourth Constitution 1835 flag and also the Municipal Corporations Act 1835 flag and the Free Passage to the World flag 
of the only King's Corporation in the world, and we are its master and its brainwork of Dutchmen, Founders, Protestants, Church, and Church of England origins. Okay, so that's all for now, and we'll catch you later. I'll turn the laptop off first, and the desktop computer, two computers recording this, and also uh, the way